Hello everyone, welcome. In our last video, in our previous video, I talked about using a visible property and using Boolean to hide or show certain properties in your screen. In this video, I'm gonna show you a, a real world example. I'm gonna keep it really simple though, um, so you can see how, how it works. Um, so that way you can also expand on it if you need to. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have this simple list here. I have, this is a conference registration. It's, let me click on new. So the questions I have are, which JavaScript session are you interested in? Which SharePoint session are you interested in? And which power platform session are you interested in? So in my, in my power apps, let's go ahead and customize it. What I'm gonna have is, I'm gonna have two screens one screen will have the form and the initial screen when the app opens up is going to be a gallery and within the gallery there are going to be three sections so one will be sharepoint the other will be power platform and the last one would be javascript and depending on which one you click on it'll navigate you to the next screen which has the form and based on what they selected the associated question will show. So I'm going to be using the Boolean to hide this. So first and foremost, let's expand this canvas here. So I'm going to come up here to file, um, set in, display, and I'm going to change this from portrait to landscape, apply. Now the reason I do this is because I want a bigger real estate. I'm not dealing with mobile. So I'm going to be dealing with the web or tablet so that's why I, I expanded this and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this attachment because i don't i don't really need it so edit fields just come here and then remove there you go it's gone and then so yeah I, I, i'm we're going to come back to this and work on this page a little bit more but first let's go up here to a new screen and create a new screen blank and i really want this screen to be our oops i want it to be our startup screen so let's move it up let's rename it uh, i'm just gonna call it entry entry and then i'm gonna call this screen let's call it registration registration so you want to make sure you name your screens appropriately so let's come here. So here, I'm gonna add a gallery. So I'm gonna come up here to the ribbon, click on insert, and here's my gallery. And I want the horizontal gallery, not the vertical. I said vertical earlier, I meant horizontal. So here's my horizontal. So this horizontal gallery, it's looking for data. It's asking which what, what I wanna to connect to. So I don't wanna to connect to a list. What I wanna to connect to is I'm gonna create a table. So table, and the way you do it is table. And I'm gonna say ID, I'm gonna say one, and then the label uh, JavaScript. ID two, label, and let's call this power platform. And then, oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I need to close this off. So these are by themselves. So close that. Put it in braces. So JavaScript is is one whole by itself. Then you have Power Platform, and you have to have since they're unique. You wanna give each one of them an ID. And then I'm gonna come here. ID, I'm going to say three, my last one, which is SharePoint, comma, label, SharePoint. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is now I want this gallery, I want to feed it this information here, 
on a, I want the, I want that information to appear on a button. So I'm gonna add it coming here. Click on this and then add a button. And as you can see, we have three buttons, and that's because it's it, it has three sections as a gallery. So I can have as many as I want. So I'm gonna come here. And I'm going to expand this a little bit, make it a little bigger. And I'm going to do this. There you go. And so what I want to do is the table I just created, I want the names to be associated with each button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to text because text is how we write stuff on the button. So let's look for the property text. Here's the text. So the, if you remember the item, the, I'm sorry, the item of the gallery was the table. So now I want to grab the item and feed it to the button. So what I'm going to do is click on the button. I'm on text and I want to say this item dot label. And label was one of the properties in the table. And as you can see, it added the names on the button. So JavaScript, Power Platform, SharePoint. Now let's come in here and make this button a little bit bigger. Not, I'm sorry, the text that is. So I'm gonna say 20 and let's bold it a little bit more. So let's bring this down some, okay. And then what I want to do is for just this page, I'm just going to change the color a little bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's too pinkish. Let's just add a gray background. There you go. Okay. And if you wanted to change the color to this, you can do that as well. There you go. So now that I have my buttons, what I want to happen now is when they click on the button, it should take me to this registration page. So let's select the button and we're going to go to the on select property. Let's go up to on select property. And here we're going to say, okay, when they select this button, we're going to say navigate, navigate. to our registration registration okay so select it and then you can also choose how you want it to if you wanted to fade cover right any other stuff let's do this see what that looks like now when we navigate to our registration page we want to pass it the label the name that's in here so the way to do that in navigate you can pass it from one data from one screen to another you come in here put your braces and you're gonna say I'm gonna say um let's say conf name conference name and we're gonna say this item dot label so right here so what we're doing is we are passing this label we're kind of assigning it to this called a variable and then we're gonna pass this variable to the next page so let's go to this page and let me just let's let's bring this down a little bit okay and let's add a label let's add this label here there you go so what we're gonna say is we're gonna say conf if you remember conf name see it has it conf name um, we're going to concatenate the following string, which is um, registration form, and close it. There we go. And so let's come in here. Let's make it a little bigger. So font size bigger. Let's bold it some, and let's center it. Um, now, you don't see the conf name because we haven't done anything yet so now let's let's add a back button really quick so we can go back to our other screen so we're going to come to icon 
Now let's scroll down until we see something that looks like a back button. This or let's use this. Okay. Put that up here. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Align it. And we're going to go to the on select property. And we're going to say navigate. We're going to navigate back to the entry. So entry comma and let's see what this some of these other things do so let's say we want to do fade let's see what that looks like okay all right so let's see how this works so let's come up here to our entry and do this javascript okay let's go back power platform go back and then we're going to say sharepoint and go back Okay, and then I'm gonna close this. So it works. See, JavaScript, it works. SharePoint, see, it works. So, but that's not why you're here. We are talking about the visible property. So let's come back here. Now, as you can see, our form isn't showing. Now, why is that? It's not showing because we have it in the wrong mode. So let's come here. See, the default mode that says edit but we don't have any data. There's no data in here to edit. So what we want to do, the mode we want to have it on is new. So now when we do this, we see our form appears. SharePoint, there you go, that's what we want. So now what we want to happen now is when we click JavaScript, just this should show. And if it's SharePoint, just this should show. And if we selected the Power Platform, just this should show. So you can expand that and make it a bigger form and you do the same have the same concept so let's go back so now what we're going to do we're going to there's so many ways to do this but i'm just going to show you a, a very simple way it's probably a, if i had a longer and bigger a longer form i'll probably do it a different way but since it's just three fields i'm going to go to the visible property and the visible property expects a true a boolean value so a boolean is either true or false so what i'm going to come and do here is i'm going to say I'm going to say if, and I'm going to say, what was the name of my, was it con? Okay. So if conference name is equal to, um, Java script, we want this visible property to have the value, the Boolean true. And if it, if it isn't JavaScript, we want it to have the Boolean false. Okay. So we're going to come here. And we're going to do the same thing over here. So let's go to the, you select the card and then you go to the visible property. And then we're gonna paste this in here. Oops, oh, what did I do? Uh, um, I think I accidentally deleted, okay. Go to this property, visible property paste and then we're going to say this is going to be SharePoint SharePoint and then we're going to come to the power platform as you can see it's gone we're going to go to visible property paste and we're going to say power oops power platform all right so that's what we have so now let's look at it again let's so if they select this we go to the visible property and i think you get the idea so if the variable that we're passing in from the entry form if it's javascript that was selected then we want we want this visible to be true so if it's true that means it's going to show and if it's false it'll disappear that's why you don't see the other one so Let's 
run this let's go back power platform which power platform session are you interested in so and it hides the other two sharepoint which sharepoint are you interested in there you go permissions com formatting and javascript which is javascript session so there you have it so um, I hope that made sense. If it didn't make any sense, uh, just leave a comment below or some or, or how you would, if there's a question you have or something you want to see done, let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.